Isn't that sweet? His last words, Nick. Silence! I see the remnants of what was once the world's greatest terrorist organization. Squabbling like animals for table scraps. For too long, Hydra has been splintered and weak, divided by our enemies and reduced to warring factions. Tonight, that changes. Very soon, Hydra will be in possession of the most dangerous weapon ever created. The dream of a new order my father envisioned is within our class. If there are any other concerns regarding the direction of my leadership, by all means, do worse than now. Then let this moment be a call to arms for each and every one of you. We are the soldiers of Araki. Time that the world feared us once again. He thinks they got the message. I think so. Yeah. They are happy when they have a strong leader. Have you chosen a target yet for our first strike? Yes. It's a small island off the coast of New York. What island? Manhattan. Tell me, Werner. Do you think the deaths of eight million Americans will be enough to get the world's attention? <laughs> so much for late, great Colonel Nick Fury. What have you done to me? You've been kissed with the kiss of death. Pleasant dreams, Fury. I, I told you revenge was mine. And now, Zola will be too. <laughs> Shield Director Jack Pinter. Listen carefully. Death Head virus has been set to explode somewhere in Manhattan. You have until 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time tomorrow to assemble 1 billion U.S. dollars. You will be told where and when to deliver it. Any attempt to evacuate Manhattan will result in the immediate release of the virus. Be in no doubt as to the seriousness of your situation. We will demonstrate the effectiveness of our virus within hours. Rest assured, against a force such as ours, there is no protection. Against Hydra, there is no shield. You liked my kissing so much that you're back for more? I'm amazed you've lasted the... Tell me something. Even if you get the money, you're still going to release the virus, aren't you? Of course I am. What better way to convey my father's message? And you're willing to sacrifice your brother to do it? Vanna? Please. Vanna was always expendable. His life is a small price to pay for the coming revolution. And what revolution might that be? Oh, Colonel, the world is on the verge of a great change. The once great global powers are scurrying about like feeble old men, praying for a deliverance that will not come. I danced on your poisonous father's grave. I'll dance on your grave too, sweetness. Oh. Fury's already dead. 
and there will be plenty of time for fun and games later. You can have the woman, and I'll have that pretty one there. Search them thoroughly. Mistake! You underestimated an old man! I wouldn't do that, Doc. Those things have a way of backfiring. How stupid do you think I am? That was a question! Anything to say? <gasps> I always heard living well's the best revenge. But I just killed you. No, you just killed my life model decoy. Useful little toy, isn't it? You know he's even uglier than I remember. Your frozen pop sickle. Get it, Andrea? Pop sickle. You know, that's the problem with the third right. No sense of humor. You heard the man. Sorry, what was the question? My poison must have reached your brain if you think I'm going to give it to you. Kate. Don't worry about it. He's right to worry, Fury. You got lucky with the numbers game, but your luck's about to run out. In ten seconds, they'll be coming through the door with a hundred men. You haven't got it yet. I'm gonna run a computer program on her template. Then as soon as we have the data together... We... I will see you in hell for this. We'll do lunch. <laughs> Quiet a woman, Nicholas. That's too high maintenance for me.
walked through the fires of hell, looked into the face of the beast, and I have returned. Let the world tremble this night. Our work has just begun. <laughs>